CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Well, I have with me Mr. Glenn Saldana, the Chairman and Managing Director of Glenmark, who is in conversation. He is joining us, in fact, or we are joining him from his research and development facility all the way in Mumbai. Start with Zetia Generic. It's a big, big launch for you. Sure. How much are you expecting in the next six months up till June? Well, clearly Zetia we've launched on the 12th of December through our partner Power Pharmaceuticals and Endo. It's a it's a mega launch for us. And uh, initially we had put out a guidance of about 200 to 50 million. We are still sticking with that. Um, so that's the kind of number you should anticipate over the next six months. Okay, so 200 to 250 million on the upside is what we can expect from Zetia Generic. Now, uh, one of the things which the street is anticipating post the proceeds of Zetia Generic is that maybe that will possibly go into debt repayment. Um, what, are you, what are your plans when it comes to debt repayment? So clearly we recognize, right, that uh, the, you know, we need to bring down debt and that entire proceed is going to go towards debt repayment. So you will see, um, you know, the debt levels by the end of this year uh, way below what we had in March of 16 and then you know, next year again, there will be further reduction in the debt level. So I think the entire capital is going towards debt repayment. So in March 16, it was 3,100 crores, and we are guiding to numbers below the 3,100 crores by the end of this year. And then uh, next fiscal, you see a further reduction in the debt uh, beyond that. Okay. Uh, would there be any more fundraising type of activities? We had Tamasek, which invested in the company as well. Anything more on the cards? We have no to plans to raise any further capital uh, anytime in the near future. Okay. Now, you know, with Zetia Generic, obviously, uh, one also talks about what happens post Zetia Generic, post the six months exclusivity. What can we see in terms of FY18 launches when it comes to US approvals for Glenmark? So we have a very strong pipeline of products, uh, especially in the derm area. We have some large products like generic well called, uh, you know, generic sevlum or so. There are a number of products which uh, could launch in um, in FY18, right, uh, beyond uh, Zetia, uh, which will drive growth for the company in FY18 and 19. So if you're talking about, say, a U.S. run rate and, you know, a quarterly run rate, you've actually increased from, say, $80 million per quarter all the way to around $150 million. You were up around 11-odd uh, percent sequentially last quarter as well. How much are you going to generate from the U.S. per quarter in terms of an average run rate? Well, our perspective is, at least for the next six quarters from here, you will see uh, consistent growth, Q over Q growth coming out of the core business. Uh, so we feel pretty good about the approvals, the kind of approvals we we keep getting um, and we have a very strong pipeline which will drive quarter over quarter growth in the US market. Okay, Ceritide Generic, that would be another you know launch that the street is looking forward to. Uh, you're, you've guided for FY18 but there could be one geography which you could launch in in Q4 of this fiscal itself. Which would that geography be? When can we see a launch in FY18? So we can't give any visibility to which geography but clearly FY18 is when the real impact will start playing out where we will have three, four different geographies getting approvals and, and rolling the product out in different geographies. So $700 million is the market size? Correct. Um, so it's about a seven $800 million market in the markets where we operate. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the our goal is to try and be the first generic so automatically we can get some substantial market share in the different markets where we operate. And when you need approvals, what kind of approvals would you need for Ceritide and where does that process stand? So we've got all the filings in place already and we've already started uh, going through the, the approval process mm -hmm. um, and it's only a matter of uh, getting approvals from various markets basically. Okay, well, one of the reasons why you've seen such a strong spate of approvals, I think it's one of your best years in terms of U.S. approvals for Glenmark, is because you don't have any U.S. FTA issues. Glenmark is not known to have a 4A3 here or there. You know, um, how do you manage to maintain such a high level of compliance or maybe a high level of secrecy? 
Well, I think as a company, we are uh, we're very compliance focused and we continue to drive compliance throughout the organization. Um, and, uh, you know, so far it's been good for us. Um, what about your Goa facility? It's expected to be inspected soon. Uh, you're expecting something ha to happen in 2017? We, we are absolutely expecting the agency any time to come in and, and audit our, our Goa facility. Okay. Uh, do you think that maybe this USFT issue, which a lot of these companies have been dealing with, multiple pharma companies, do you think it's overblown? People need to understand that 483s might just be routine in nature and it happens to each and every uh, company and it shouldn't possibly be blown out of proportion from an industry perspective. I, I think, you know, getting 483s on a facility is a normal thing because uh, when you have inspections, you're going to find gaps, you're going to find deficiencies. So I think, uh, you know, virtually all facilities will get some kind of 483s. The question is how, how serious are they and how do you deal with that? I mean, that's the biggest challenge. Um, and some of them can be serious, some of them, um, you know, the agency may, uh, may be happy with your response and allow you to continue. Hmm. But are Indian companies getting better when it comes to compliance? Uh, there's a lot of automation which is taking place. Well, I think Indian companies are putting in a lot of effort, right, into uh, being more compliant and, and driving compliance uh, through their systems. So I think I'm sure all that will pay off in the long run. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.